In this video, we will introduce the most important changes and improvements in version 1.1 of the Acronis integration for ConnectWise Control. In order to give MSPs better insight into the progress of agent deployment, we have improved feedback during agent deployment. Once you click on Deploy, you will receive feedback about the current stage of the deployment process. Setting up, here we are preparing to download the agent. Downloading, the actual download of the agent installer on the remote workload. Installing, during the installation and registration process. Once deployment is done and the agent is registered with Acronis Cloud, you will see the Normal Information tab. This way, if the installation stalls because of a slow network connection on the remote device, for example, you will notice that here and you will be able to remedy the issue. Once you have deployed the agent, you'll notice improvements in the Info and Protection tabs. In the Protection tab, we see all available protection plans for this customer. Protection plans listed are updated in real time from Acronis Cloud. If you were to create a new plan in Acronis, it would show up in this list immediately. For each plan, we see full plan details. Once we apply a plan, we can manually run backups and other scans, or we can revoke a plan all without leaving this tab. The Info tab has two main sections, labeled Details and Device Status. In Details, you will find information such as Acronis Customer Tenant and User, and the Agent Type and Version. Under Device Status, you will find Backup Status as well as Last and Next Backup Date, and Last and Next Antivirus Scan Date. Here, you can also uninstall the agent or unlink the device. Unlinking the device will not uninstall the agent from the device, but will remove the link between Control and the Acronis agent. Uninstall will completely remove the Acronis agent from the remote device. A large security improvement in this version of the Control integration is the new Permissions Management System. This system relies on existing permissions that you probably already have set up for the different roles on your system. You do not have to create new roles for this. We will go over these permissions and roles one by one. First, the administrator. An administrator needs to have administrative permissions under global permissions. Anyone who has this permission assigned has full unrestricted access to the integration, including enabling and disabling the integration, editing integration settings, and a Cronus Partner Level Account Management Console. Then the second role the integration understands is what we call a technician. This is the person who does your day-to-day -day management of remote workloads, but does not have admin privileges on control. This technician needs to have at least scoped permission edit sessions assigned. Any role with these permissions assigned will be able to deploy the Acronis agent, assign plans, run backups, run other scans, manage and resolve alerts, access the Acronis control panel at customer. They will not have access to integration settings or access to Acronis partner level account management console. Lastly, the integration understands a view only role. View only permission will be granted to anyone who at least view session 
group permissions granted, but not edit sessions or administer. They will be able to access the Acronis tabs and its subtabs, but not be able to interact with anything. They will also not have access to any Acronis control panel from within the control integration. Lastly, if you are an existing ConnectWise control user, but are new to Acronis, you can now get a free trial. All you have to do is install the integration, open the settings panel, and find this link at the bottom of the pop-up window. Clicking on it will take you to the ConnectWise Marketplace where you can start your free one-month trial.